This is the plaintiff, John Bushatsky. He says the defendant gave her vicious cat proximity to his nice cat, and his cat was attacked and injured. His cat needed surgery for the infected bite, which blew up to the size of a baseball. The woman needs to pay his vet bills, but refuses, so here they are. He's suing for $1,600.99, the amount owed. This is the defendant, Miles. She says the plaintiff has a hairless cat. And they're very sensitive and emotional animals. She moved in with her cat and they were kept in separate rooms. Then, one day, he claims her cat attacked his because his cat had an abscess on his back. No one witnessed any altercation. She has no idea what happened to the skin on this hairless cat and simply owes nothing. She's accused of starting a cat fight. Rawr! All parties, please use your right hand. You see it, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. John Buchatsky, you are suing Miles for $1,600.99 that you say you are out for vet bills, Uber trips back and forth, and loss of work because of the fact that you say her cat attacked your cat. Tell me what happened. Well, Miles moved into our apartment uh, the beginning of July. Who else was living there? Uh, my current roommate. That's a three-bedroom apartment. We needed a third roommate. So Miles was a coworker, a friend somehow of my current roommate. And when he mentioned the situation to me, he also mentioned that she had a cat. So we had made this arrangement to keep the cat separated for the first month while she lived there. My because cat, you had a cat. Yes. And uh, cats are jerks. When they cats meet. are not jerks. They're just uh, <laughs> discriminating. They may or may not get along, and it could be mayhem or it could be adorable. Yeah. Right. So because my cat's vulnerable, uh, he has no fur. <clears throat> what kind of cat do you have? He's a sphinx. Um, we made it clear that because he's vulnerable, we'll keep them separated for the first month, acclimate he's them He's so vulnerable. Slowly. Why do you even consider a roommate who has a cat? Why don't you just keep looking? Because he was, uh, she was a friend, we needed somebody to get in the space. Um, so go ahead. And we figured we'd give it a try and see how it goes. And it seemed that we were all of the, on the same page with how to acclimate them. Great. So she moves in. And after about five or six days of living there, I come home from work. My cat is in my room, which is odd because it, that's not how things should have gone and not according to... What do you mean by in your room? He was in my room with the door closed. Um, and he's just, he should have been free to roam the apartment. Where would her cat be then if you guys in were? In her bedroom. So her cat was supposed to, the deal according to you is that her cat's supposed to be in her bedroom at all times? For the first month so they could uh, smell each, each other under the door. We were putting the food bowls near the, the entrance of the door so that they would be like, you know, forced to uh, smell each other. Okay, for a whole month? Yeah. I mean, oh, I, I, if I'm the cat, that would be driving me nuts. I'm smelling another cat, but I can't see the other cat. I think I'm going crazy, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, a whole month, wow. And out of curiosity, why did you guys pick a month rather than three days or something? Like, did you read that? Uh, well, I was told that Miles was doing this, uh, like looking online at how to properly introduce cats. Oh, so she was the one who suggested a month? Uh, I believe so. All right, so what happens? You come home, I come the home, cats? My, after the first, you know, the first week, I come home and my cat's in my room and he's got little holes in his, like above his tail on his back and a little cat claw sticking out. It's just, at that point, I was just really aggravated and just had no idea what had happened because nobody was home to explain. So I waited up for Miles to come home, and she explained to me that she decided that it would be okay just to let them interact, and she wasn't paying attention, and th uh, they, she heard them, uh, some commotion amongst the cats and then just put my cat in my room. Did you take the cat to the vet? Not immediately, no, because I, I, first I didn't realize that it was a bite. I thought it was just a scratch. I cleaned it. Two days later, I come home, my cat's in my room again, this time with, uh, in the middle of July, it was like 90 degrees out, 
my room gets, all the rooms in this apartment get really warm because there's um, big windows and I didn't have a curtain. So I come home, he's in my room again, it's 90 degrees out, no AC, no water bowl, he's panting. I take him out of the room, bring him to the water bowl, he lays down in front of the water bowl, drinks it, I refill it, he drinks half of it. So at this point, I texted her and let her know that this was the second act of neglig negligence against my cat. She put his uh, life in jeopardy, and this situation wasn't going to be able to work anymore. When do you take your cat to the vet? The next day, because I woke up. And <clears throat> do you have the vet report? Yes. May I see well, it? I have the vet bill. No, the bill just tells me the amount. You don't have anything from the vet, like an explanation? No. Okay, let me see what you do have. What happened? Yeah, uh, well, I wanted to say something about the, the month thing, or like the, like there was no agreement about how a long. Month. Yeah, there was an agreement that it would be a two, like 60 day trial to see if they could get along. Right. And I did say that I've, I have introduced cats before in the past, like, and uh, like I've moved around a lot. So uh, I've been able to like do the whole process where you let them smell each other. I was the one who fed them on different sides of the door. I was the one who monitored them slowly coming together so we could open the door and like let them see each other. Like cats are really sensitive. Cats can't just like come So was there any any uh, preordained amount of time that they would be kept? 60 days. Oh, for the separation? For the, not, yeah. For the separation, I think that I had looked it up and said like it said like two weeks, but it was gonna be case by case and we were gonna figure it out and it was gonna be a process. So at some point you figured that we're there, let's take the next step and what happened? His cat was pretty menacing. His cat didn't, was territorial. Cat, like, you know, been the only cat for a long time. His cat was always like outside uh, my, like, my bedroom door, like kind of waiting. So on the days that I had off, I did keep them separate. I like, if I wanted to go watch TV on the couch, I wanted my cat on the couch with me. So I put his cat in his room. And then right. when I would leave, my cat would go back in the room. So she was back in her like cell almost. And then his cat had free reign of the apartment. So like I did switch it up and interchange it. Um, so on the day that it happens, what happened? The day that it happened, there was one time where I was on the couch again with my cat, like watching a movie. His cat came out, like sniffed mine, and then walked away. How did away. his cat come out? Uh, his cat came out of his room. The doors were open. My cat was on the couch in the living yeah, room. Yeah, but why space. was the door open to his room? Because I didn't like I because he had already yelled at me about having the the his cat like locked away. I was like, okay, I won't do that. I'll just keep an eye on it. I'll just keep my cat with me on the couch, okay. and then if something happens, I'm right there. Okay. So the, like my cat was on the windowsill. His cat. That's not like, with you. His, okay. Yeah, no, like the wind. Okay, so here's the couch. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I got it. So your cat's the on the windowsill. The cat's on the windowsill. His cat comes up and just like like sits there and looks at my cat and then gets bored and walks away. And I was like, yes, it's happening. It's cool, you know. Seriously, like an hour later, I went to like my cat gets off the windowsill. I think she's gonna go eat or whatever she does. She's up on um, the cabinets, uh, and then his cat is too. And I have a picture of it. Okay. Like, my cat's, like, asleep, like, chilling, and, like, his cat is, like, just staring mine down. Okay, but they're animals. See, guys, we don't, we don't like, decide which of the animals was more menacing. We decide no. whether the human in charge did something wrong. Totally. So what I'm trying to figure out is, is that where it happened, up on the cabinets? No. It, it, I don't know where it happened because, like, I heard it. I right. didn't see it, right? And then I separated them real quick, and then my cat went into my room, and his cat, I think I put his cat in, no. I think his cat was freaking out at me, so I just left and went to work. Honestly, like they're like they're scary animals. They're really emotional animals. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It it happened. I don't. I didn't see it. I didn't witness it. But right. I'm and sure now, just from the sounds. he has a bunch of vet bills. I don't have any vet bills. All I have is just a line that says 1013. I need to see what was done. For all I know, the the cat had like you know you. Um, you know, I liver have surgery. I have no phone. idea. So we, do you have it on your phone? Yes. Yeah, that'll do. Did you ever see the vet bills? I did. Because you had it. offered to pay the vet bills. I right? did a portion of it, and I had also um, the day that he took it to the vet, or the day that he showed me what was up, like the morning that I woke up, he was like, "Look at my cat." I could tell that, like, there was like a. An did abscess. you ever tell him about what had happened? Yeah, of course I told him that, like, I heard something, and then that made sense that there would be an abscess two days later or something okay. or whatever, whatever period of time. Right. When he decided, he put down $700 of the grand, right? That was the initial bill, was $1,000. I was like, cool, I got the seven, but if you don't want to, like, work something out with me and you don't want to, like... He wants your money, he just didn't want you to continue to live there. 
Clearly. I right, just but what moved were you in. Doing? Were you trying to hold him hostage to the living situation? No. Or no, you were going to no, pay no I matter what. I was well out of there, dude. Okay. Like, I got... But no, it was a terrible experience. He okay. was slamming cabinets and stuff. It was awful. He was mad. It, the whole time. It was, right. There was, there was seriously something that was going on, something that was wrong, like, well, every day. Well, his cat was injured, and he didn't like the arrangement. So what ended up happening? You got a different roommate? Yes. Okay. Um, so your cat's fine now, right? Yeah. He's got All right. So the scar. first bill, can I see page two of this? No, I can't because you have a picture of the front of the bill. You don't even have the, you have the date cut off in this picture. How do you not have the vet bills you're suing on when you come to court? I'm so flabbergasted. I'm going to take a recess. I'm going to give you access to a phone and a fax and figure it out and get your act together. That's all. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So how difficult is it if you have, um, a, a new cat and you bring it into a house where there's already a cat without a fight breaking out. Who has cats here? You have a cat? Yes. What do you say? I say it depends on the cat. All cats are different. Some don't like others. If there's a rule here, what is it? I mean, is it hard to bring a cat in with an existing cat, territorialism, whatever? At first, but later, no. Just at first. They're not going to kill each other? No. What, why you, uh, you're like... What? Well, I would think that they would fight. I would too. I would think, you yeah. Cats are catty. I, so, Oh, wow. You should write something here, going inside the courtroom. Okay, so I, I'm looking at the vet bills with the date that coordinates with what you're saying, and I see a vet bill for 1020 and another vet bill for $30.60. And you had offered to pay the vet bills and then didn't, why? I said that I would be willing to pay the bills, and I said that I would want, he had left a contract for me on the, like, my desk in my room uh -huh. um, and in the contract, it said that I was responsible for this and subsequent visits and blah, 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 blah. I told him, and after the first visit, after his first trip to the vet, and he had paid the $700, I was like, dude, it's our, like, that, like, without consulting me, without figuring out something to do together to, like, kind of, like, get this figured out. But I know it's not his He doesn't have to, though. He can take the cat to the vet of his choosing. He can, he can... Uh, you know, and then it just has to be, he can't get it in court unless it's reasonable, but it's a reasonable bill. Um, he doesn't have to see if you can afford it. Um, and, and the thing is, you know, animals are animals. If you weren't in charge, both because you were the one present and because you were the one deciding how to acclimate the cats because you'd done it so many times and all that, this would be a different case. If two cats just scratch each other, that's what cats do. You, you, right. you got to eat your damages. But... In a case like this, where you're the adult in charge, and you're the human in charge, and you're the, the person deciding when it's too soon or whatever, and add to that the fact that, I, I think according to you, one of the roommates said you forgot something when she went to bed one night and left her cat out. There was no leaving the cat out. Like, he'd sleep in his room with the cat, so finally mine would be able to roam the halls. It was like something that worked out so she didn't have to be trapped. It worked out for everybody, but what's your cat's name? Mizu. Oh, yeah, Mizu. It didn't work out that much for I Mizu. shouldn't have even... Why are you suing for loss of work, $500? Because the day I had to... I woke up Can and realized... That? I had two appointments set for no, that No, 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 not like that. Prove that you... Like, do you have any evidence that you lost $500 worth of work? No, or? I do not. Okay. And you took Uber to the vets? Yes. And I see those receipts. I'm going to order the repayment of the vet bills for both visits as well as the um, transportation to get there for a total judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $1,100.99. I'm not going to order the loss of work because I don't find that there was sufficient proof of it. That's my judgment. Good luck, folks. Thank you. All right, both Thank you, Your Honor. So the plaintiff gets a judgment for $1,100. You probably could have gotten off taper if you'd have paid the $700 that you were talking about, you know, came at up least, earlier. At least we both get to move forward, honestly. I, it's a moot point. You know? Pretty rocky relationship. <laughs> and it's ended. It was like quick and stormy. It's yeah. just how I like it. Yeah, and it's over. And, and you're I'm glad. So stoked. Okay, cool. Your Thank cat you. okay? Yeah, she's Good. great. Okay. Great. Okay. Mr. Bushotsky's on his way out of court. Well, you're finally going to get some money for this. You, yeah. You, okay? You had to go to court? Did you, did you think hard about doing that? Uh, yeah, it was yeah. a you know, difficult decision right. to make. Of, to take All right, well, I'm course. glad you're, you're cat okay now. Yeah, he's doing right. good. I, I got to ask you a quick question. Sure. I'm sure everybody watching this is wondering, what is that going up around your neck? That's a snake. It is a snake? Yeah. How far does it come up? Uh, just to my chin. Right to your chin? Right down to, to there? Yeah. 
You ever regret doing it? Because you no can't way. miss it. I love snakes. I'm you a get a lot of hunter. reaction to it? Not so much, really. People don't say anything? They don't bring it up to no, you when they're, they're looking at you? you. That's the thing. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thank you for explaining me yeah, what it was. Course, okay. Yeah, I've no been problem. wondering. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you. The door is that way. <laughs> Harvey? Okay, Doug, so here's the deal, that there has to be some kind of supervision here, and there was a lack of supervision, which means there's negligence, which means there's liability.